Question 4. Measure the size of the angle marked A. So we're going to need a protractor for this one, since that's the tool for measuring angles. Line up the cross with the middle of the angle. And then we need to make sure that the zero on our protractor is in line with the first line of my angle. The closer and the more accurate you can get this, the more accurate your answer will be. Now you are allowed to be two degrees off, but that's not a lot of error, especially if you've got a small protractor. So get this as close to the centre as you can, and the zero as close to the line as possible, and then just measure from zero, making sure that you are counting up. So we're going to be using the outside numbers 10, 20, 30, 5, 6, 7. So I measure that as 37 degrees. Part B says in the space below, draw a line of length 5 centimeters. So you're definitely going to need a ruler for this one. Make sure you're using a sharp pencil and start on zero and draw along the ruler until you hit 5 centimeters. Again, you need to be within two millimeters of this point here. Double check, take your ruler off, bring it back, line it up just to make sure that you have got the right measurements. That's an easy two marks.